The subject today is um, why do we spend and focus so much of our time and effort on other people? Why do we analyse, try to work out the reasons why everybody else may be a little bit more intense towards situations and issues that if reversed wouldn't really affect us. Wasted hours, wasted effort and energy when the truth is if you look around think about it most of mankind forget it's gone what once was is an issue then oh, but then it's gone so think about that next time you think you've caused an issue or a problem it's gone history has proven that beyond a doubt wars disasters in the moment we are screaming and shouting and crying and and then it's gone why because we get on with daily life and the things that imprison us or keep us trapped or take our focus away from the real truth so what i'm trying to say here is stop trying to analyse what others may be thinking and why. It's a waste of energy. Now, stop that and change it a little bit and try it this way. Why don't I just simply get on with my life and focus on the right and the good things and the things that are happening and focus on, oh, God forbid, myself. Ooh, selfish bugger, don't do that. No, hang on. Focus on yourself. Treat yourself. Be good to yourself. Forget about issue and problem. I see children come in here feeling pain and suffering because they're trying to figure out why the father or the mother or the brother or the sister or the best friend are the way they are towards them. Don't. Don't focus on that. Focus on your beautiful self. Work on you. Let them go. If somebody's worth loving, they're worth loving. If they're not, then they will show themselves as that person not worth loving. People come to me all the time and say, Mark, why do you so easily tell people or to walk away from people? Shouldn't we interact and try and resolve and do this? Hey, I spent a decade trying to resolve and put these things right and you realize all of that effort was a waste of energy. There are billions of people out there now, people who are good, kind, caring, loving, understanding people who want good friends just to be like them these are the people that you need to find you need to work on meeting beautiful people and beautiful souls and once you recognize that certain souls are in a bad place and a difficult place and there's nothing you can do to help them other than be there in their energy and feel the pain and suffering that they reflect onto you then you have to make the decision whether you can keep going and keep doing this, whether it's a family member, whether it's your best friend, whether it's even your child sometimes. Sometimes let your child be and do what they want. Let your best friend be and do what you want. I have never told you to walk away from anybody with anger, ever. I always say, let them be with love, meaning walk away with love, let it be. Let them heal on their own. Let them heal and work it out for themselves. All you can do is give and do your best. It's all you can do. So when you walk away, you send love to them every day. You wish upon them well. You see them happy. So you do it with love and strength. You don't do it with anger. Don't walk away with anger. Don't scream and shout and walk away. You're as bad as them. That's not what you're here to do. You're here to see, feel, understand, learn and become stronger than. This is what we hear. This is why we're here. This is what this is about. So today, take a leaf out of my book. Wave goodbye with love. And introduce yourself to beautiful people and let them introduce themselves to you so you can have close friendships 
of love. Possibly passion. Why would we want to keep going down the same path, meeting the same people who hurt us time and time again? <laughs> the bigger picture is that we have to learn from these lessons. And then once we have become stronger than them, the lesson disappears. And voila, love comes, friendship comes. Have a lovely day, everybody. From my heart to yours.